of my goals for 2016 concerns these notebooks, there's three of them, and this tote. This is my fiber notebook. Um, it is a thing that my son and I work on together and it started when we were trying to decide what breeds of sheep we wanted for fiber. So as you can tell we have this all three binders they're in alphabetical order and I'll just show you we'll start with the front one this is alpaca it's got a photo of course it's got the breed name a photo a description of the breed what properties are meant great for spinning bad for spinning whatever then on our second page we keep a actual sample page this is raw staple this is it spun up into about six yards is what we decided on and then a swatch um, I try to keep it no less than two by two but we don't worry about uh, how much is left so I'll grab normally about an ounce so that it keeps it simple on the third page of our fiber study um, and we laminate these after we get done we put stuff now we don't always fill out the entire sheet about each one uh, the date that we did it this one happens to be 2012 one of the first ones that we did um, this is uh, let's see if you can read it through here how you prepared it tools you used for the preparation uh, what you did for spinning whether you did it um, Z or S comments um, we don't keep because RJ was kind of young when we were doing this we didn't keep great notes um, but there are things for staple length um, the weight before you wash it, how you scoured it, then if you carded it, use the combs, whatever, um, and then how you did if you long drawed, long drew, I don't know if that's, anyway, however you spun it, if you did long draw or just did a, a draft or whatever, and then how you plied it, how you soaked it, how you set the twist, what you did you know just all that kind of stuff um, and then of course over here we have one that says cost likes dislikes um, and then we have fiber source you know so we do kind of keep track we don't fill out the entire thing on all of them the one thing that we did try to start doing was likes and dislikes some of these were done before we got this sheet um, this is a sheet that we made up and wanted to do so um, the first when we first started we only had this right here and then this with the information on it then later on we came up with this right here because we wanted to be a little bit more in depth um, of how they were spun because it makes a difference you know you can do a, a study and have the same fleece you can spin it differently and prepare it differently and still have um, different outcomes so one way you could like it one way you could not and that was the whole point of part of our fiber study was to figure out what breeds we wanted, how I was going to spin them, and how I liked them. Um, this entire tote is full of samples. <laughs> yeah, I started collecting samples when we started doing the fiber notebook um, and most of them are little uh, baggies like this and this is a Scottish blackface. Um, this is a Norwegian black lamb. There's a chun forest. Um, this is from a goat. It's a uh, Nubian cross goat. I don't know. It was just a fuzz and I liked it, so I saved some of it. Um, Gulf Coast. There's a ton in here. I've got Angora rabbit from where we used to have our. This is Lincoln. I have cotton that we grew ourselves. Uh, CBM. I've got little samples that I bought. Um, this is alpaca roving. The others are done from, from fleece, so I'm going to do those. And then people uh, knew what we were doing, and this one lady sent us, uh, let's see, it looks like there is Border Lester, Lincoln, Romney, Cotswold, and Lincoln Wensleydale. They wanted us to have a little sample of each of those that they did. And then I think some of the weirdest ones I have are chinchilla. Yeah, I have chinchilla. I've spun camel and buffalo before too. Um, oh, and then here's one right here. I've got possum. Yeah, I don't know. These are really short staples, so I'm not real 
into spinning them. <laughs> Those will probably be the last ones. I have wolf in here too someplace. So I have some wolf. Uh, all kinds of stuff. This is my Icelandic. It's lost its sticker. I've got to put a new one on it. I just happen to know because it's the only one that's in here. Um, I have merino. This was some merino that came with... When I started this, a girlfriend picked up a box on Etsy that was like a sampler pack. It had 50 different breeds in it and one of them was the merino. And I've done our merino for the book and I haven't done this one. I think I'm just going to wash it up, spin it up, see how it goes. Um, I've got some alpaca in here. I've got, oh my gosh, more stuff than I need. So, the goal for 2016, if you want to join me in the fiber study, we're going to get rid of this tote, get it all in that notebook, and these are the ones we're going to cover first. So, this is our introduction um, for January. I've already done uh, Pulled Dorset, and next week, or next Saturday, I'll post one about Coopworth. Then February, the first week, we will do Gotland. Columbia is the following week. Montevale is the third week in February. And then this is Polworth, and it's from Australia. It was a gift, and I just can't wait to get it. Oh, it's so scrunchy. So each week we will post one about one that we're doing. Um, and we're going to see if I can't condense that tote down and get rid of it. That'd be nice to get rid of that and get it all in those books and then I can start buying some more. <gasps> anyway, um, so I hope you join us. Come play with Fiverr.